Today is November 1st, 2023. This is Anglostic, host of the update, bringing you your daily Wuthering Waves update. Kuro Game recently released Tanjing's developer's notes today. Allow me to summarize it for you. Tanjing is defined by her duality and her acceptance with both sides. As a tapestry, she is illustrated by two different hues. Her liveliness as a young girl and fondness with sweets gives substance to a charming appearance, steeped in a traditional Jap Chinese style with accessories like the jade ornament and the leg garter. Unwaveringly pure of heart, the radiator of easygoing and approachable vibes does not have trouble connecting with the locals. The other hue wells up as a black and white compass of morality. The candor and unambiguous manner of speech gives no filter to her behavior towards unsavory quantities. She makes it very clear if she doesn't like someone, particularly towards evildoers. The ranger wastes no time staying her blade, instead proactively seeking out those ne'er-do-wells like a punisher. She is a roamer, but she is not lost. Since she 100% kills, she's going to have darker quips in combat. Like, uh, I'm imagining some combat lines here. Like, you're getting what you deserve. I'll carve your fate with my blade. I've buried better fighters than you. Just a few examples. The charmer in her brings out the brevity of character, and the Punisher makes sure there is hardly a dull moment with her. A truly symbiotic illustration of yin and yang. Looks like that's it. That has been your Wuthering Waves update.